I received a request from a classmate for a more explanation on interval notation and graphing intervals on the number line. When you use parentheses and when to use brackets is one thing that we need to discuss first. When you're graphing an inequality, use a parentheses if the inequality symbol is less than or greater than. Use the square bracket if the symbol is less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. So we're using the bracket to indicate that you are including the endpoint. Now if we wanted to put in interval notation the set of all real numbers, we would need parentheses negative infinity indicating there is no least negative number positive infinity parentheses indicating it goes to there is no positive highest number. We never use brackets with the infinity symbol. So if we solved an equation and we got an inequality and we came up with k less than or equal to 4. Let's do the number 9 first. Now my lab will have you enter your interval notation first, but I suggest on a sheet of paper you draw the solution on the number line and then figure out what your interval is. So if we want less than 4, let's locate 0 and 1, 2, 3, 4. So that is the number 4, k equal 4. If we want less than 4, we would need k to be all to the left of 4. And my number line, my drawing didn't want to stay. Okay, so it goes on forever to the left, to the negative, and at 4, what's happening? Well, it could be equal to 4 because 4 is less than or equal to 4. So we'll put the bracket at 4. Now write your interval notation. Read your number line left to right. So on the left, we said it never stops, so that's negative infinity, comma. And on the right, it stops at 4, but we include 4, so we put the bracket. So that interval notation indicates that every number less than or equal to a positive 4. Okay, r is less than or equal to negative 10. Okay, so we'll locate our 0 and I'll just use big units. We'll go with negative 5 and negative 10 and negative 15. If r is less than negative 10, once again, it will be everything to the left of negative 10, never stopping. And what's happening at negative 10? Well, it's less than or equal, so we will need a bracket at negative 10. That's our graph. Now write your interval notation. Read your number line from left to right, so you'll start with your parentheses, negative infinity, comma, and you're going to end at negative 10, and it is included, so we put the bracket. All numbers less than or equal to negative 10. x greater than negative 3. Locate negative 3, and we want x greater than negative 3. If it's greater, it will be all to the right of negative 3. And what's happening at negative 3? Do we include negative 3? No, because negative 3 is not greater than itself. So when it was strictly greater than, we'll use the parentheses. Now write your interval. So parentheses, negative 3, comma, positive infinity, close your parentheses. x greater than 3. Again, locate 3 on your number line. If x is greater than that, it will be all to the right. We do not include 3 because it's strictly greater than, so we'll put a parenthesis at 3. 
Now for the interval notation, we'll have parentheses 3, comma, and it goes forever to the right, so positive infinity, close parentheses. Now this one is a between. 8 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 10. So x is between 8 and 10. Okay, so let's locate 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. If 8 is less than x, then x has to be to the right of 8. If 8 is equal to x, then we would need the bracket. Looking at the right half, x is less than 10, so it will be to the left of 10, and it's or equal, so another bracket. So x is between 8 and 10, including 8 and 10. For our interval, read it from your number line from the left. So bracket 8, comma, 10, close your bracket. Another between, but in this case, one of them is strictly less than, and the other is less than or equal to. So let's see what that will look like. On the number line, we need 0, and then we need 10, so I'll do my 5 unit breakdown again. Zero is less than x, so x is always to the right of zero, but x is, zero is not included, so we'll put the parentheses. It's less than or equal to 10, so it will always be, x will always be to the left of 10, and it could be 10, so we'll put a bracket at 10. So that is my interval for or my graph of the numbers between 0 and 10, including 10. Now for my interval notation, left to right, parentheses, 0, comma, 10, close your bracket. A similar one. This time we have x, the negative 3 is less than or equal to x, which is less than 5. So let's locate negative 3 on our number line. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Starting on the left, negative 3 is less than or equal to x. So that means x is to the right of negative 3. And it says or equal, so I need a bracket. It's less than 5, so that means it's to the left of 5. 5 not included, so I need a parenthesis. Write your interval notation, negative 3, comma, 5, parentheses. I hope this helps. If you need more assistance, please just ask.